What do you want to do with your life? That's a question my parents asked me frequently growing up. And recently I had a deja vu feeling as I asked the same question to my son who is coming closer to this crossroad. As a parent, I want him to make a smart decision in choosing his career and finding his life's purpose. At the same time, I was strangely contemplating doing that. You see, because I have not found my life's purpose until I hit 40. I discovered it going through the flow of life. However, if given a choice, I would have loved to have discovered it earlier. Don't get me wrong, I'm really, really happy the way my life has turned out. And I know there are many of you like me out there. There's this intense pressure from the world around us that we need to follow a certain path or hit a milestone at a certain age. And that pressure can be counterproductive. So in this video, I want to share with you ways of finding life's purpose. Let's get started. Hey there, my name is Aparna. I'm a certified coach. Every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. And if this interests you, do consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're there, do not forget to press a bell icon so you're notified every week when I post a new video. And if you're watching this on Facebook, do not forget to like and follow my page. I'd like to start today by deconstructing purpose, or should I say simplifying it. Discovering your life's purpose basically means you identify areas or activities in your life that you would want to spend majority of your time doing and be happy about it. However, we cannot discover our purpose just by thinking it. We can only discover our purpose by feeling it. And you can only feel it by quietening your mind, exploring into your heart, and connecting it to your core values. It is said that when we quieten our mind, we can hear our soul. Our mind is always on a racetrack. How many times have you decided to relax for a few minutes and get hijacked by a barrage of thoughts and worries? Finding calm in a world of chaos can be really difficult but not impossible. Meditation is the quickest way to do it. But the more sustainable way of doing it is to be present to each and every moment in your life. It is to be mindful. I said this before, our thoughts are either in the past or in the future. Mindfulness connects our mind to the present. And when you're mindful about the things that you enjoy doing is when you begin the process of discovering. Let me also add a Zen quote here. Mindfulness is not to suppress your thoughts. It is to surpass them. And you can do that with meditation. Remember the time when you were doing something and suddenly realized that hours went by? You had lost track of time. What is that activity? If you said video games or browsing on internet, then I'd say you're like most of us. So let's stick with this example. Now explore what about video games or internet is making you go there again and again. In my case, the incessant browsing on social media came out of curiosity. If I look back and see what is my activity on internet, the need was to improve myself. So I found my calling by exploring this space. How much of time am I spending on this activity and how much enjoyment am I getting out of it? So explore into depth of what is keeping you occupied these days and what is it that you're enjoying doing it and do it mindfully. Explore with an intention to seek. You will find your why. Our values are part of us. These are things that we believe and align our life to. They represent us and determine our thinking and our behavior. So make a list of values that are essential to your life and work back in exploring which activity of yours is aligning with them. Dependability, non-judgment, integrity, authenticity, and consistency. These are some of my core values. When I align what I do with these values, I find peace and happiness. So it's obvious that my purpose needs to align with the values that I believe in. To conclude, I'd like to say this. You can only discover your purpose by going inwards, by quietening your mind, exploring your heart, and connecting your core values that touch your soul. Like Emerson has said, the purpose of life is not just to be happy. It is to be useful, to be honorable, to be compassionate, to have it make some difference that you have lived and lived well. Have you discovered your purpose already or do you need help in this? Do let me know in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video resourceful, if you like this video, do hit a like button and share it with your friends. And I'll see you next week 
Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye.